YouTube. Greetings from the warm and sunny Philippines. My name is Roy and um, lately uh, I've been receiving some comments and uh, questions that they seem to ask every time how did I make the Elastic Audio work on my songs. So I would like to make a, sh uh, sh a vid that mm, maybe describe a little about the Elastic Audio. Okay, start off. Um, I use some samples here. Uh, let's take a listen. Never, never let go. We'll fly this was my ending line on the never, Touch the Wind song. Let go. We'll fly away. Sounds awful, huh? Anyway, don't bother to listen to that. We are studying the Elastic Audio, okay? If we just right click on the highlighted uh, sample, we can see Elastic Audio immediately. Or if you cannot see it there, we can go to the audio effects and go down, 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 and we will see Elastic Audio. It's over there. Just click it and the window will come up. And you will see never, the analysis, the waves, go. the bars, and everything. So what we will gonna do here is um, make it sound like a bit of an auto-tune-y sound. So uh, first things first, we have to know what key are we going to use. If uh, like this song is uh, on C major, so we have to make everything on C. So you can see here it's in default. We have to just click on C, and there. So we have just to click this thing here and try Chinese okay and click on tune you see that it made some point there it made some a little difference on the waves and the bars and let's take a listen never, never let go. see that well so easy huh if you would like to sharp, uh, polish it a little you can make you just uh, magnify and see those areas that seems to be a little bit jumpy yeah and uh, we just use this what's this pencil tool okay we just try it for size and just uh, smoothing out those wavy wavy lines and take a listen again does it sound better you just click it on okay now So, does it answer your questions, everybody? So, thank you for listening and have a good day. Peace out.